Hey guys, I'm Matt Aspland and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today is part 2 of our vaulting and climbing parkour series and this is the final part where we're going to be finishing off the code. So let me hit play and show you what it is that we made last time. So what you can see is in the game here, if we were to run up here, we can press V to vault over an object and we can press V to vault through a window as well like this. And in today's video, what we're going to be going over is pressing V to climb up and over something like this. And also right now we actually have climbing onto something as well. So again, today we're doing the climbing up and over. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What we want to do first is go straight into our character blueprint. So for me, that's control space to open up our content browser, third person, blueprints, BP third person character. And here, what we want to do is go into our parkour macro if you're not already in here and then go to the end of the code where we have this branch for should climb false we did last time with you vaulting and getting up and now we're going to come off of true so we can firstly delete this set cam parkour off of true as that was just to make sure the code didn't break in the last one but we don't need that that was just temporary so what we want to do first is actually come off of the true of this branch and we want to get a line trace for objects like so and we'll move this over a little bit to give us some space then on the left we're going to right click and get actor location and then under this we'll right click and get actor forward vector out of the return value of actor location we're going to get an addition and what we're going to do is add 200 onto the z then out of this we'll get another addition and that is going to go into the end then the get actor forward vector will come out of this and get a multiply changing this to a float and you can do that by right clicking on the structure pin and converting pin to float and then we're going to multiply this by 70. This will then go into the addition as well and again that goes into end and then the first addition where we're adding 200 on the z goes into the start like so. So what we're doing is basically getting the active location plus 200 to be the start and then that plus the forward vector multiplied by 70 so 70 units forward is the end. So I'll right click these to straighten them up a little bit to keep them looking nice and organized. And then out of object types, we're going to make array, leaving it as the default of world static. Then after this, what we want to do is come out of the return value and we want to get a not boolean. And then we're going to hold down the left click to get branch with that going in there like so. And the reason why we want to invert this and get a not is because essentially this is going to determine if we can or can't climb up. So if this doesn't hit anything, this will become false which means we want to flip that so it then becomes true. If this does hit something, this will return true. So we want to flip it to be false, to come out of false of the branch as we don't want to climb up in the thing because essentially this is hitting something which is going to block us from climbing. So we want to make sure that we don't climb. So off of false of this branch, we're going to obviously not be able to climb. So what we do in this code when we're ending the code is we set cam parkour back to true. So we can then restart all of this if the player wants to then try vault or climb again elsewhere off of true of this branch we again obviously want to actually be able to climb up so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to where we have default and get up and select and copy the set collision enabled for the capture component and set movement mode for the character movement and then we'll paste that up here into true of this branch like so then after this what we're going to do is we want to set actor location like so and this location is pretty simple in fact i think we actually already have it down here so what we can do is select the get act location, make vector, wall height, and subtract. Copy that, paste it up here into the set new location. But we just want to change the minus from 20 to 44. Then after we're set in the location, we want to play anim montage. With the anim montage of this one being climb. So we have anim climb montage like so. Then we'll hold down D, left click to get a delay with the duration being the return value. And after this, we're going to hold down B and left click to get a branch with a condition being the is wall thick boolean variable that we created last time. What this is doing is essentially deciding if we want to climb up and over or if we just want to climb up. So true, if the wall is thick, we're just climbing up. So we don't need to do another animation. If it's false, the wall isn't thick. We want to climb up and over. So we'll do false first. So what we're going to do here is play anim montage once again with the anim montage of this one being jumping down then again hold down d left click to get a delay with the duration being the return value and then this is going to go into ending 
the movement code. So again, if we go back down to our vaulting getting up, we can see how we did that down here. Set in the collision and the movement mode and can parkour. So we'll copy and paste this up here, connecting that into the completed of the delay and also true of the branch like so. And that should be the code fully done, set up and working perfectly for us. So we'll go over this again. So what we can see is essentially, so if we are climbing, we're going to go up here, see if there's anything blocking us. If there is, then we're not going to climb. And if there isn't, we're going to make sure the character gets ready to move by disabling the collision and setting them to the flying mode and then moving them into position. We're then going to play the animation for climbing up. Once they have finished the animation, so they have now climbed up, we want to see if the wall is thick enough to climb up and onto, or if it's not thick enough and we want to climb over it. So then obviously we climb over it or we don't do anything and we finish the movement there like so. So I'm going to select all of this, hit C to comment it, and naming this climbing up and over. We'll compile, save that, and close it, and we should see this working perfectly. So let's hit play. We'll go over. We can see the vaulting will still work perfectly. We can vault over like this. And now we have this wall. If I go up and press V, you can see we're climbing up, and then we climbed over like so. But however, you can see what happened there was we actually kept falling through the earth which is obviously not what we want. So let's open back up our character blueprint and see why that happened. And that's because actually I made a slight mistake here. This play animal montage doesn't want to go into the delay. The delay wants to simply just be one second like so. So that's my bad. Sorry, I forgot that a little bit. Now if we compile and save and try this again, we should see that we'll just climb straight over and we won't fall through the earth like so. So let's climb up and over and then we land perfectly like so, as you can see. And we can still climb up onto this object. And then we can't climb up here if I just press V. But if we jump and press V, you can see we climb up. And we're not climbing over, just up like so. Now, you see we still have these red lines here. These only appear in the development of a game. They're not in the shipped version. But if you don't even want them now, what we can do is open up our character blueprint again. And just go to each and every line trace we have. And change the draw debug type from for duration to none perfectly like so so i'll do that for all of these and then we should see that these red lines will disappear the reason why we had them on at the moment is just so that we could see it all working and test and debug everything so i also forgot to have this one on so i'll put for duration on for this one just so we can see what it's doing but i've turned it off the other ones so now if we go up to where we're climbing over you should see one line trace and that is for that one to see again if there is anything blocking it like so so that as well you can also see is the height of where we can and can't climb over so let's turn this one off as well, and then you can see now we have no red lines on our character. But with that, I think that'll be it for this video, is we've done everything we've wanted to do. Nice simple one for part two of our climbing and parkour series. Last time we went over vaulting, where we can vault like this, and also vault through a window perfectly as well. And we can also climb up onto a box like so. And in today's video, what we've done is climbing up and over a wall as well. So we can climb up and over like so, which looks great. Or if it's not thick and we just want to climb up, we can do that too. So we can just climb up perfectly like so. And also, I'll also show you for climbing up if it's not actually jumping up as well. So let's just make this one even thicker. Go up to it and press V and you'll see that we'll just climb up onto it perfectly like so. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers soon, so any help is really appreciated. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.